Hello friends, Dr. Raga here. My next series of videos uh, will be on uh, last minute revision points given by uh, Bhatia Coaching Center. Dr. Bhatia promises like there will be 100 to 150 questions coming from the last minute revision points uh, that he'll be posting in his Facebook page, uh, which is given a public access. Uh, so he'll be posting some 2000 to 3000 points i think till now he has posted some 1600 or 1700 points uh, i'm just uh, omitting his videos uh, so i'm just taking the notes which is uh, posted by him so i will just go through this uh, in a quick uh, glance you know like uh, we should not miss them when he promises 100 to 150 uh, bits uh, uh, coming in the next exam and uh, those are really not less so no harm in reading these points and the credit does not uh, goes uh, any way goes to me uh, it completely goes to dr bhatia i'm just reading his bits that's all so after this bhatia maybe i'll be reading uh, one liners from other materials so i'm not restricting my videos to only one coaching center or one material so whatever one liners are important for any medical pg exam and which should be read before exam i'm just covering all those things first let me finish this partia things okay so let us start with uh, anatomy and anesthesia okay there are 100 points we'll just go through this quickly and there are many other videos that will be posted again okay so anesthesia and anatomy fibers first to be affected by local anesthetics are dorsal nerve root sodium bicarbonate given as an adjuvant to the local anesthetic because it decreases the onset of action and increases the duration of action okay shortest duration local anesthetic is chlorprocaine okay meth hemoglobinemia caused by prilocaine that's very important. Methemoglobin is caused by prilocaine. Fastest route of absorption of local anesthetic is intercostal. Okay. EMLA cream contains xylocaine plus prilocaine. In digital block, adrenaline is contraindicated. Okay. Blood replacement that is transfusion is necessary only when the loss is more than 25% of estimated blood volume. Okay. Acid citrate dextrose blood can be kept for 21 days. Mismatch blood transfusion during surgery is manifested by tachycardia. Blood transfusion sets pore size is 170 microns. Okay, the complication of massive blood transfusion is hyponatremia. Maximum possibility of hepatitis and AIDS or with which blood product that is cryoprecipitate. The induction agent of choice for cyanotic heart disease is ketamine. Okay, the most appropriate inhalational anesthetic agent of choice with minimal hemodynamic alteration for induction of anesthesia is patent ductus orthosis with congestive cardiac failure of isoflurin. What they meant to say is like what is the inhalational anesthetic agent you give in PDA with CCF and it is isoflurin. Electric, elective surgery in patient of MI should be done after 6 months. Oxygen analyzers measure oxygen concentration of inspired gases. Best clinical guide for cardiac output is urine output. The blood glass analysis in hyperventilation shows reduced PCO2. Nitric oxide is used in the management of ARDS. CVP monitoring. Tip of catheter should not lie in the right atrium. Intubation is indicated if respiration is paradoxical. Okay, Paul Burt effect due to oxygen toxicity manifest as convulsions. The management of fat embolism include pulmonary em embolectomy. Okay, ventilators nowadays in common use are volume preset and time cycled. Usually cyanosis appears when partial pressure of oxygen falls below 50 mm Hg. Cyanosis appears if reduced hemoglobin is more than 5 grams. So reduced hemoglobin should be more than 5 grams percent and oxygen um, uh, pressure should be partial pressure PaO2 should be uh, less than 50 mm Hg for the cyanosis to appear. Earliest indication of hypoxia is change in pulse rate. Okay. Alternate scale score is for post anesthesia recovery so post anesthesia recovery is alternate scale score 
Carbon dioxide is transported in blood primarily as plasma bicarbonate. Carbon dioxide produced per minute is 200 ml. Oxygen content of arterial blood per deciliter is 20 ml. So, oxygen content of arterial blood per deciliter is 20 ml. Carbon monoxide is shift oxygen dissociation curve to left. Actually, they have not given this point. But just to repeat, oxygen dissociation curve shifts to left uh, when there is carbon monoxide okay. and high uh, area air, sorry high airway resistance is seen in main bronchus drug of choice for psvt is adenosine it's also for svt uh, same adenosine most common cause of electromechanical dissociation is hypovolemia okay not a common complication Sorry, not a complication of total parental nutrition is respiratory alkalosis is a negative bit. Vein of choice for um, parental root is subclavian. So, parental root which is a vein of choice, subclavian. After contrast media injection in radiology department, a patient develops severe hypotension, bronchospasm and cyanosis. So, what do you give as a treatment is adrenaline. Sodium bicarbonate is not given. In cardiac arrest caused by ventricular fibrillation. So, you should not give sodium bicarbonate when the patient is having cardiac arrest that is due to ventricular, ventricular fibrillation. In pediatric advanced life support, intracious access for drug or fluid administration is recommended for pediatric age less than 6 years. First step in CPR is cardiac massage. Okay. In a patient with multiple injuries, first thing to be done is patency of airway. Lumbar hemivertebra results due to abnormal development of ventral sclerotome. Embryological development of human vertebra is from the somite. So, we had done half of anesthesia and now anatomy. They, they have given anatomy. So, I will just read the bits in anatomy. So, embryological development of human vertebra is from somite. Paraxial mesoderm contributes to the development of skeletal muscles. Okay. First, to be developed is primitive streak before formation of head and tail force the most cranial part of embryo is septum transversum so before formation of head and tail folds what's the cranial part of embryo most cranial part it is called as septum transversum ligamentum teres of river is a remnant of left umbilical vein this is a repeated bit i don't know how many times it, it's repeated so <clears throat> if they want to make it simple they'll just give this bit in neat exam maybe so ligamentum teres of liver is remnant of left umbilical vein the term dynamic stabilizer of shoulder joint is used for rotator cuff subscapular bursa communicates with shoulder joint pectoralis minor has no action at shoulder joint wrist joint is formed by articulation of lower end of radius articular disc and carpal bones <laughs> Adduction of hand at wrist is done by flexor digitorium superficialis. The weight of upper limb is transmitted to axial skeleton by coracoclavicular ligament. Okay. So, dermatological supply of perineal skin is S4. So, dermatological supply of perianal skin is S4. Deep peroneal nerve does not supply the peroneus brevis. It supplies peroneus longus. Okay. Scarpus fascia is attached to facial area of thigh. The nerve supply to the skin around the umbricus is 10th thoracic ventral ramus. So, the nerve supply to the skin around the umbilicus is 10th thoracic ventral ramus. Highest level of the area crust is at the level of L4. Okay. So, what we read about S4 is it is the dermatomal supply of perianal skin. L4 is the highest level of iliac crust. In rectus sheath, External iliac artery makes anastomosis with superior epigastric artery. So, what arteries get anastomosed inside the rectus sheet is external iliac artery and superior epigastric artery. External iliac and superior epigastric. Pyramidalis is supplied by subcostal now. So, pyramidalis muscle is supplied by subcostal now. Length of female adult cervical canal is 2.5 cm. Length of posterior vaginal wall is more than the anterior vaginal wall blood supply of upper part of vagina cervico vaginal branch of uterine artery <coughs> so 
so uterine artery supplies the upper part of vagina through its cervical vaginal branch mucus glands are absent in vagina lining of epithelium of vagina is non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium fertilized ovum reaches the uterus in 3 to 4 days the outer layer of the blastocyst forms the trophoblast marula is 16 st cell stage Compression of a nerve within the carpal tunnel syndrome, uh, sorry, carpal tunnel produces inability to oppose the thumb. Okay, pointing index sign is seen in medial nerve palsy. Ape thumb deformity is also seen in medial nerve palsy. Nerve damage due to lunate dislocation, that is in carpal tunnel, is a medial nerve. So, whatever is concerned with the carpal tunnel, it's medial nerve only. Medial nerve injury. Uh, at elbow affects flexion at DIP joints of second finger, flexion at PIP joints of third finger and flexion at first and second DIP of fingers. Okay. So, uh, median nerve injury causes, if you uh, think of index finger, that is second finger, uh, DIP is uh, affected, flexion of DIP is affected, that is distal interferential joint. Okay, and flexion of uh, PIP of third finger is affected. So, just remember index finger D for D, index D for D, so DIP flexion is affected and third middle finger PIP is affected, rest of the fingers they say flexion is affected. So, level 3 axillary lymph nodes is the apical. So, axillary lymph nodes level 3 are apical. Clavifectoral fascia is derived from costocoracoid. Okay. So, clavipectorial fascia is derived from costocoracoid. Lymphatic drainage of upper outer quadrant of breast is anterior axillary. Lateral border of cuboidal fossa is formed by brachioradialis. Abductor pollicis longus and external pollicis previs from the anterior wall of the anatomical snuff box. They are just saying APL and EPB forms the anterior wall of anatomical snuff box APL and EPB APL is abductor pollicis longus and EPB is extensor pollicis previs anatomical snuff box contains the radial artery just remember it what does anatomical snuff box contain radial artery and the anterior wall is formed by APL and EPB now related to anatomical snuff box is superficial branch of radial now yeah Okay, the radial bursa is a synovial sheath covering the tendon of FPL. Okay, so flexor pollicis longus. Radial bursa is a synovial sheath covering the tendon of flexor pollicis longus. So just remember flexor pollicis longus tendon. Okay, is related to radial bursa. So radial bursa is a synovial sheath covering the tendon of flexor pollicis longus. Infection of index finger spread to the thenar space. Occlusion occurs at the second part of axillary artery. Blood flow is maintained by the anastomo anastomosis between D branch of transverse cervical artery and subscapular artery. So when there is occlusion of second part of axillary artery, blood flow is maintained by anastomosis of D branch of transverse cervical and subscapular arteries artery forming, forming anastomosis around surgical neck of humerus is third part of axillary artery so surgical neck of humerus third part of cervical axillary artery anastomosis around shoulder is for connection of first part of subclavian artery with third part of axillary artery so just remember around the shoulder what is the ana anastomosis you see in between third part of axillary artery and first part of subclavian artery. Nerve running around the profunda brachii artery is radial nerve that is in the spiral groove. So profunda brachii artery, spiral groove and radial nerve. Okay, intracious membrane of forearm is pierced by anterior intracious artery. A recurrent intracious artery is a branch of posterior intracious artery. Perforating branch of internal thoracic artery supplies the Pectoralis major. Pectoralis major is applied by perforating a, a branch of internal thoracic artery. Serratus anterior muscle is supplied by long thoracic nerve. We know that and it helps in forced inspiration. Winging of scapula is due to paralysis of serratus anterior. Latissimus dorsi inserted into bicepital groove of humerus. Okay. 
bicepital groove of uh, humerus latissimi dorsi just now we read spiral groove is related to profunda brachial artery and radial now anatomically a muscle of upper limb but functionally related to trunk is latissimus dorsi the muscle that crosses both the shoulder and elbow joint is biceps brachii okay both shoulder and elbow is biceps brachii anatomically related to upper limb but belongs to trunk is latissimus dorsi biceps brachii is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve this is just a one reading of 100 questions related to anatomy and uh, anesthesia given by Dr. Bhatia sir. And if you hear them like one more time, maybe the audio you can repeat it. And there is a high chance like few bits will come from this content. Thank you guys. We will uh, meet in the next video where I will uh, read the uh, last minute revision points of the next subject. Thank you.